Say hey. 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 Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about cloth diapers and why we chose them and how it's turned out for us. A uh, huge part was a financial decision. I think the average US family spends about $2,500 um, on disposable diapers during the uh, first two years of um, having a kid. The initial expense is about three to four hundred dollars to get set up for cloth diapers, it was for us. Second of all was the environmental impact. Disposable diapers are somewhere around six percent of all solid waste. So it's a huge number when you think about it um, in terms of just how much space is taking up in the dump and how long they will last. Thirdly is kids who are in cloth diapers tend to potty train a little earlier according to the numbers. So we'll see how that turns out. We are potty training him as it is. He's almost a year now. We ended up going with Bum Genius, this is one of the uh, the liners, they come in all different colors and whatnot. Um, this is just the liner, the outside is waterproof, the inside is absorbent, it's very simple, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail about how they work because once you decide to go with them, you'll work that out, it's very simple. Is that funny? So, that's a liner, this is an insert, this is an absorbent insert that gets put inside the liner and it absorbs all the moisture. Then there's a second insert. This is actually an infant insert, so it comes with two. This is for when the baby's really small and the diaper's set to its smallest. And then you can actually double them up and insert both uh, once they uh, start saturating the diapers quicker. They come with multiple adjustments. They can be adjusted for length and width. This is a diaper set to the smallest, so this is an infant setting with the, the clips all folded in and folded to the smallest. And then this is on the medium setting, so it's kind of one size up and set to medium. They can be adjusted um, for different waist sizes too. And then, so that's the two, small, medium, and this is large. These are all the same diaper, just set to different size settings. The settings are very simple, it's just snaps. So basically, this is a diaper set all the way out. You're going to pull that camera down. You're going to pull the camera down. So this is the diaper set to its maximum size and you can to set to the smallest you basically just clip three snaps. One, two, what? Three. Oops. Three. Yeah, it's that easy. And as you can see it's shortened and then the waist setting is there's multiple multiple snaps in the front, so when it goes around the baby's waist, you can clip, clip the waist settings to you know any one of these. Anyway, so they're very very adjustable. He's wearing one of the medium setting right now. They're you know they're working great. They're set somewhere toward the middle. I think the number one question we had was how do you clean them? Basically, all you do is when you you remove the soil diaper, um, if there's poop in it, it, it actually just you can flick it off into the toilet. It's really easy. Flush it down. You remove it. Grab the liners from the very top, they tend to be clean up there anyway. Pull them out of the insert and we just fold them inside the liner and shove it into a special little bag that you can buy from various companies and then wash them every 48 hours or so. So this is the bag that we use to store the dirty diapers in. It's super handy. It hangs on the doorknob. You just flip one handle off, put the diaper in. Yes, it's awesome. Yeah. And then you, when it's full or when you're ready to wash, yes, you hold about the machine, there's a zipper in the bottom, and you literally just unzip the bottom of the bag, they all fall out, drop the bag in the machine, and you start the cycle. Once they're clean, the inserts are put in the dryer, and we hang the liner, and you know, they dry in no time. I know a lot of people do sun dry these, we just live in a very humid environment, so we don't get to sun dry them very often. What we use to clean in our laundry is this stuff called Charlie soap. I know a lot of people use a variety of different um, cleaners, but Bum Genius actually makes one. We just found this to be the easiest. It's a liquid soap and it's great for all our clothes. So all we do is we run a cold wash to get rid of any stains, and then I just do that on a gentle cycle. And then we do a hot wash to sanitize, and then one final additional rinse just because you want basically zero soap residue on the diapers. Put the diapers back together because we're using two. I just put the uh, small one on the big one like that. Grab them, hold the diaper. This takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get it down in no time. Shove it inside, not to the very, very end, but you just kind of center the whole thing. It's not rocket science. And fold the little flap over. 
done. Make a pile of them and you're set. One thing you cannot do with cloth diapers is use any kind of lotion for diaper rash. You gotta be very careful with that. There are some uh, cloth diaper friendly lotions out there, so you have to look very carefully for them. What I recommend though is if you do get any kind of yeast infection or anything like that, just switch to disposables for a little while. It's not gonna ruin you. <laughs> and uh, switch to disposables until that rash is gone, and then make sure you wash and get rid of any yeast on the end of diapers. We've had very minimal rash issues. Are you? Yeah, you had no rashes. Yeah. And uh, I think part of that is just that the diapers breathe a lot better than disposables. Um, we did start cheating doing kind of a hybrid system after six or seven months. Once he started to pee as much as they do, once they get big enough, um, it's hard for the diapers to cope with that much uh, moisture. So what we do is at night he sleeps in a disposable and then we switch back to cloth diaper during the day. We do the same thing for road trips. It makes road trips so much easier. At first we were trying to do the cloth diaper thing um, if we were going away for the weekend and then we were looking for hotels with laundry facilities and it just got complicated. So what we decided to do is just uh, do disposables when we're out of town and away from home. And the same thing for, you know, if I'm running a ton of errands around town just because of the, the potential leak issue, I do uh, switch to disposables sometimes. So we've probably, in the year that we've been using cloth diapers, gone through four boxes, four 75 count boxes of disposables. So the cost really is minimal and the impact on the environment, I mean, it's huge if you think about how many diapers would be in the dump. The other huge benefit to cloth diapers is once you are onto your second child, your savings just start to multiply because then you don't have the expense of buying the diaper. There's minimal wear and tear on these. They look almost brand new. And we've got a second child on the way and the diapers are basically free. Really? What do you think? Hey? Do you want to tell them? Tell them, tell them about your diapers. <laughs> Where's the baby? <laughs> it's the doggy. <sighs> I guess we should talk about why we went with Bum Genius. They seem to have a slightly better life than a lot of the competitors. Fuzzy Bun seemed like a really good brand too. I know people have gone with all kinds of I mean, there's so much variety out there, there's, there's a huge amount to choose from. Uh, but I can say that Bum Genius has worked really well for us. They seem to be, it seems to be that they're going to last a heck of a long time and be a really good investment. And people seem to sell them once they're done for around eight to ten dollars a piece. So we'll make some of our money back when we're, when we're done with this. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. And I hope I covered everything. If I forgot anything, please let me know. And Hopefully I can cover it again sometime or answer it in the comments or similar. Uh, please subscribe or share this and yeah, I'll try to put another video out next week. Thanks. Yeah. Hum. Hum. Hum, 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 hum.